Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add realistic grass to the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you will want to have Roblox Studio open. And I've got a game that I'm working on here. Now to add realistic grass, you're first going to want to make sure you have terrain added to your game. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But right now we have regular grass as the terrain for this game. So in order to add realistic grass to your game, you want to go up to workspace and click on terrain. And then over on the bottom right hand side, you have properties and you will want to click on the first option there that says decoration. So once you click that, it will add the realistic grass to your game. So once I click that, there's the grass and you can see it's a grass that uh, kind of moves uh, as the uh, game is being played. If you're having problems with your explore or properties tab showing up, you want to just go up to view and then click on explore and properties on the left hand side. If you click on decorations and the terrain does not change to realistic grass, that means that you need to change the material type to grass. And I'm going to show you how to do that later in this video if you're working with a base plate or you want to change the material to grass. So uh, just stick around for that and I'll show you uh, if, it, if you click the button and it didn't turn to grass, you'll see how to do that later. Uh, let's say you have your grass added and you would like to change the color of your grass. So to do that, you will click this drop down material colors on the bottom right hand screen. Again, you have terrain highlighted and the properties on the bottom. And here you can go to the uh, grass color and the leafy grass color. So let's go ahead and click on the grass color and see that highlights it. But if you want to change the color, you actually have to click on the color uh, icon right there. And that will bring up the color that you would like. And as I change this, it will change the color in the game. So you can see, let's say I would want to, um, maybe a purple grass. So now I've got a purple grass in the game. And then when I'm, once I'm done with that, I just press OK. And then if you want to undo any of the selections you've done, you can just press Control Z and that will change back to the color you had before. So now that you have your grass and your grass color that you would like, uh, sometimes you would like to remove the grass that you have uh, in the game and maybe uh, carve around certain objects. So in order to remove grass, uh, the realistic grass, what you can do is go up to editor, you can click on editor, and that will bring up the terrain editor on the left hand side. And you want to have it on the edit tab. And so once you bring up the edit tab, there's a couple options here, you want to click on paint, and that will bring up your brush settings and different ways that you can paint. And what you're going to do is just change the material that you would like to paint with. And then that's going to go ahead and uh, change uh, the material itself. So let's say we wanted to have a little bit of cobblestone up to this uh, thing. So now I just go ahead and pick cobblestone and then I click and then I drag around and it will change that to cobblestone. Now you can also change it to uh, the leafy grass, which uh, would be just that, that normal grass without um, without the uh, realistic grass. And so you can see you can have two different kinds of grass uh, textures there. And you can choose any of these and it will work for removing the realistic grass from your uh, game. Now, uh, one other thing you might run into, uh, let's go ahead and undo all of that. And let's say another thing you might run into is let's say you have something like a road that you would like to add to the game. So I want to go to the toolbox and look for a simple road that I can add to this game. And so I've got this road, I'm going to add it to the uh, game. And you can see the realistic grass is poking through the road. So in order to remove that, what you can do is uh, go back to the uh, editor again. And to do it manually, the same way, the same thing applies. So you would just pick uh, the uh, leafy grass as your uh, material for the paint setting. And then you can just click and then uh, drag. And that will remove the uh, grass from the road so that you can you know, just see the road rather than um, the grass poking through the road. And again, that will work for any of the parts that you have there. You can just remove that manually like that. If you're having any issues with seeing the realistic grass or if it's not moving, uh, what you want to do is make sure your graphics level is turned up. I've seen uh, that the settings you want to have for graphics level is anywhere between 18 to 21 or higher for your graphics level. And that should fix any problems that you're having with seeing the grass uh, or seeing it move. You want to remember that in order to change to realistic grass, you're going to need to have terrain on your map. So in order to do that, uh, let's go ahead and exit this game. And I'm going to show you how to do it with a just a regular uh, base plate. So let's say you're working with the base plate. What you're going to need to do is generate terrain first. So in order to generate terrain, you want to click on the terrain editor. 
And once it's selected, you can click on, well, generate would uh, generate a, an entire terrain, which you could do that. And once you do that, it will uh, generate a full terrain for you. And once it's finished, uh, you'll have a working terrain that you can do. That's the easiest way to have a full terrain for your uh, base plate. And now you can go to any part of this terrain and you can add the realistic grass once it's finished. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. I'm gonna undo that, again, Control-Z. and Or you can go to uh, the terrain editor and just click on edit and press on add. And then you can click on the kind uh, that you would like to add. Uh, let's say some ground and again you can change your brush uh, uh, your strokes and all that to change as you can see I'm adding uh, different terrain to this map so I just realized you actually need to make sure that whatever terrain you're adding is the grass terrain so um, I'm gonna add grass terrain and then when I go over to the terrain workspace and I click on decoration it will add the uh, realistic grass to the um, grass terrain so you need to have not the leafy grass, but the regular grass terrain. So again, you can see if I had the regular grass terrain, that when I click on decoration, it adds the realistic grass. So again, that's one thing to make sure you have that when you're doing this, there's different kinds of grasses that you could use and ground. Um, the, re the realistic grass will be on the one named grass. Uh, so you now know how to add realistic grass to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.